Hey guys, how's it going? It's Douglas here at Drown Boy Cosplay, and today I'm bringing you a rather intricate video. I do not know what all this video will entail, or even if it will be released to the public. I'm mostly recording this for myself. So today is the day in which my real Papa 3 mask is leaving the collection. It will be coming back. It is just going to Tom Spina to have some restoration done or preservation done. But I want to tell you a little bit of the story behind this mask, how I acquired it, and just some need to know information. So when I was first given the opportunity to own this piece, I noticed that it was not being kept very well. It was actually displayed on this. This did come with it. I believe that this used to be a life cast of Tobias possibly, or just a very basic head form. It's very strange. It looks like it's been melted all around the sides here and just kind of like crushed in and then taped up with pink gaffers tape and then there's a smiley face on it with a tongue hanging out and I do believe that this was drawn by Tobias. Recently I saw a video by AJ in which he purchased a stolen ghost glow from the band Mushroom Head and in his video he released the information on it and kind of just talked about the truth of what happened and sincerely whenever I bought this I did not know that it was not able to be sold. The individual from Ghost's Camp, who I will not name, did tell me that they were allowed to sell it and it was given to them after a shoot um, because this thing has actually got quite the history to it. It was used for the Bandit Rock Awards, uh, Lollapalooza, tons of stage shows, Hellfest 2016, um, the Grammys. This is the actual mask that is seen at the Grammys when they went, when they got the Grammys, all those famous pictures and famous footage. This is that very mask. You can tell by the damage in the eyes, the shape of the paint job. It has been ID'd by myself and multiple other people as that exact mask. That's what this is. It was also used in the music video for Square Hammer, and He Is. He Is is the very last thing that this was used for, um, and it came from some of the crew that worked on that music video. They said it was given to them to keep and do with what they want. That was not the case. I've talked to Ghost's management. I've talked to people involved. We worked it out, and it was fine for me to keep it, and this is a piece that I will always keep. This will always belong to me. The only place I could ever see this winding up would be like in a hard rock. Um, someday it may end up there, but I sincerely doubt it. It will probably always be one of my prized possessions because it is such an important piece to me, not just because of Ghost, but just because of a lot of stuff that happened in my life around that period. Well, yet again, as I stated, it was not stored properly, and when it arrived, it was just on that head form. So then, I bought a new head form, and I put this guy on there, and he looked pretty good, but still, it was a little bit small. And a lot of people think that Tobias has a smaller head, and I think he has a larger head, because even AJ put this thing on and said that it was much larger than he thought it was going to be. It is a lot larger than I thought it was going to be, which is weird, because... And that could be for one or two reasons. One, it could be from the silicone stretching out over time from being displayed the way that it was prior. Or two, it could be that it was just an actual larger mask or he has a much larger like jawline. It's hard to say. Well, this thing has always been displayed on here and I've always wanted to get a better display for it. And not too long ago, I would say around four months ago from the time of filming, I picked up an immortal new display bust that came out with these new awesome display busts with an insert where you can put either flesh colored or black colored silicone inserts with custom made eyes in here and it's supposed to be like the perfect display for any silicone mask. With all their displays it looked quite awesome so I knew I had to get one and so I got it I was super excited and I tried to put the mask onto this head form and I found out that head form is actually smaller than the one that it's already on. I was told it would fit, but it didn't. So then I was faced with another problem. Well, do I go ahead and put it on here and try and stuff it and make it fit? Possibility of damaging the mask? Don't think so. So I just put it back on the head form that it's been resting on and there it sit. But over time, the weight from the jaw just kind of hanging because it's not stuffed properly has slowly pulled the silicone down and I don't know if it's permanent damage I don't know if it's something that can be fixed possibly it's the positioning on the head form I'm not sure but really the eyes have started to sag over time just from that weight and one thing I want to talk about with this mask is how strange it is the neck is super thick silicone back of the head top of the head super thick silicone but the face is super thin and that's probably why for so many years Tobias was able to convince people that Papa 
was a real person, and many people who looked thought that Papa was a real person. Of course, in today's age, we all know that Tobias is at the forefront of Ghost, his name is out there everywhere, and it's kind of a strange thing to see. I do appreciate him and the work that he's done, but it's just kind of a strange turn for where I thought Ghost was going to go. So if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be making this video right now. But I think with all the information out that this is a safe video to make and I can't see why anyone would be upset. Well, I don't want the mask to continue being damaged and I've heard many people say that, you know, oh, just let it sit, it'll be fine, it won't get damaged. And I don't know if it's permanently damaged or not, but I don't like the way that it currently looks. The eyes are sagging too much and as many people have said before, he looks surprised. Well, I'm going to be sending this to the best in the business, Tom Spina. Tom Spina is certainly the guy you want to go to to have any preservation or restoration work done on screen used props, masks, etc. He does a lot of this work, ranging from Star Wars to actually restoring possibly the most impressive piece that he's done was restoring the Halloween 5 mask. He's just done a lot of wonderful work, and seeing how he's able to save pieces and preserve them, I would not trust anyone else in the world to do this but him. So today, I am packing this up and sending it off to him, which is something I am very, very scared to do, but hopefully everything will be alright and I think it will be in fine hands. So I just wanted to make a video of this guy, showing you guys a little bit of it prior. Well thank you all for watching, I appreciate your support, and yet again if you have ghosts, you have everything. Love you all, see you in the second half. One eternity later. Alright guys, how's it going? It's Douglas here, Drown Boy Cosplay, and I want to start by prefacing with the fact that if I sound terrible, it's because I'm sick. I have a cold right now, but this package arrived today, and I absolutely cannot wait any longer to open this up. So, I sent this package off a little over a month ago, I think, and as of today, it is December 30th, 2019. Almost time for the new year, and this video might even be going up on the first day of the new year. But after a little bit of waiting and a lot of money, it is finally returned and we're going to open it now. So, this is of course coming from the studios of Tom Spina Designs. And uh, I hope it's all packaged up pretty well. It looks like it's in a very large box, which is a good sign. Hopefully a lot of bubble wrap in here. And uh, I think I'm opening it from the right side up. Whatever tape they use is holding on pretty well given this box cutter is very dull, but, you know. So, here we go. Right on top, it says, thanks for the awesome project. Custom sculpture, trade shows, displays, Tom Spina Designs. They sent me a little card. And that says, prop and costume displays, restoration, conservation, themed furniture and decor. All right, so there's that. Let's get right into it. We got a lot of brown paper. This stuff is going to be everywhere. All right, what is this? We have a couple of pieces here. So first up, we have a set of custom ears. Now, whenever I was having this project, I guess, restored slash preserved, I was very on the fence about whether I wanted this piece to look like it was worn or maybe just preserve it as a mask, uh, whether to give it some eyes or not. And I eventually decided no eyes and I think we had just decided to not make it look like it was worn at all, but the team went ahead and made me some custom ears, and these ears are sculpted to look like Tobias's, and uh, pretty accurate, I gotta say. They look really good in person, as far as I know, these are completely custom, um, hand-sculpted, one-of-a-kind pieces to look like his ears, and they've got some Velcro on them so that I can attach them. We'll get more into that in just a moment. And I can't tell which piece is the mask and which piece is not. I think this is the mask. Okay, this piece is definitely the mask. Next up, let me get the box cutter here. Everything was packaged exceptionally well. And here we have just a plastic tube. I assume this is for part of the display. And next up we have the base. So here it is, just a pretty basic plastic base. 
um, a basic base, if you will. So if you guys have seen Tom Spina's work before, he does some absolutely amazing displays, amazing restorations, and a lot of them come with like themed bases or themed head forms or just displays like that. And they do a wonderful job on it, and I was on the fence about whether or not I wanted to do something like that as well. And I think we just decided on something super basic, just showcasing the mask, because I have this museum display case that I went and picked up, uh, which for the sole purpose of having this mask in it, and I think that it would just work better to have it all as one piece like that. So that's what we're going to stick to. All right, and they also sent me back the head form that Papa was displayed on previously, which I believe is just a basic Immortals male uh, silicone mask display bust. And these are fine for pretty much any type of silicone mask that you're going to run into. This was a custom piece made to custom fit someone. And so it's a little bit different. It doesn't fit like a regular commercialized silicone mask would. So this head form was actually a little bit too small and I ran into the same issue when I spent $250 plus on a custom Immortals head bust with the eye inserts. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger than this one. That's what I was told, but yet again, even smaller than this one, surprisingly. So it finally just came down to uh, having a professional restore this for me. And here he is wrapped in this bubble wrap cocoon very excited to get this guy unwrapped for you I'm very excited to see him myself i'm going to lay him down and carefully remove all this bubble wrap quite a bit of tape was used a lot of tape was used on this, which is a good thing. Make sure it's properly secured. But it's also got me kind of nervous. I don't know why. All right, there's the first layer. Now probably just two more layers or so and we're good to go. Find the tape. Alright guys, we're starting to get somewhere. That's it for the second layer. And I think this is the final one. And now we have this cloth bag here. It kind of looks like he was taken hostage. Somebody just threw a bag over his head. Are you guys ready for this unveiling? The tape has been removed. Wow, <laughs> there he is guys. This is really stunning, I gotta say. This is absolutely amazing. Tom, you really made my year with this piece, man. This is absolutely gorgeous. If you guys saw what this looked like before versus how he looks now, you'll know. Like this is really just stunning. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. I had a lot of doubts with this. I was really worried about this guy for a while. Seeing the condition that he was kept in when the band had him, obviously they don't want to pry it on and off of a, you know, a silicone mask head form every single day, especially if it was one made to fit it. So they kind of just put it on that weird melted head form, and I think that's just kind of how it was. It was just left dangling there, and they just grab it and throw it on whenever they needed to. It really wasn't taken that great a care of, because I mean, to them, it's not a collector's piece or anything. It's pretty much just a mask, something that they need for part of their stage show, and I can understand that, but someone like me, this is amazing. I'm really surprised that I ended up with it. The way I ended up with it was absolutely crazy. It's been through a lot, and then to have this guy sitting in this room and watching him slowly just start to droop because it still wasn't a proper head for him, I was really worried that I was gonna lose it anyway, and he was just gonna fall apart on me, and Tom, you saved this. Sincerely from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much, dude. Like this is absolutely amazing I know it cost a pretty penny to do but you guys did a fantastic job. It looks Pretty much exactly like it did when Tobias himself was wearing it and that's really something special It's really really awesome. It looks amazing. I'm really excited to have it. Thank you, and I'll show you guys a close-up 
and I want to tell everyone, thank you for supporting the channel, thank you for supporting me as an artist for the stuff that I do. Um, I really couldn't do this without you guys. I really hope you guys enjoy the content. I hope to bring you more great content in 2020. Love you all. See you next time.